Oh god, they pick up my little pack thing. I'm gonna put it in my pocket though, so you can heal. Uh, pen. Huh? You talk pen, uh, apple. Maple? Why? I know control him, no. We got it, we got it, my, we got the Russian Soviet mask. Come on, my slabs. Did you buy it? Buy it? Yes, I bought it with my money, you emo. But was your dad's card? No. You have a card? No. I have my waist. Hey guys. So. We're going to be unboxing a uh, very common collector's knife, um, gas mask called the GP5 Russian gas mask. See now, it's a uh, very common, so, the see now, they are mass produced back during the Cold War by the Soviets, right? And, um, since the Cold War never, like, really launched off, um, since the Cold War never launched, uh, they have a bunch of unissued GP5 Russian gas masks. So now, the, since they're like mass produced and they, no one's using it, they just, um, they kind of just have it in factories and some people find them and then they sell them very cheaply on eBay around 20 to $10, depending on the seller really. And, um, I got mine for $10. I'll put it in the link description. And you guys should know that you should never put the mask on with the filter because it does contain asbestos. See, asbestos is a thing that will kill you. I don't want to get in detail, but I will link a channel that talks all about gas masks. I used, I've been watching from, watching him for quite a while now. He talks all about gas masks. And um, so I'm going to link his channel and the videos where he talks about gas masks. And um, if you buy one of these, you should probably learn about them before you actually, you know, you know, wear them and stuff like, because, you know, it could be dangerous to have contain a best dose, which, you know, they have. So this is, it said it had a Ukrainian gift, and I'm assuming this is what it is. I think you're supposed to put this on your, like, fridge or something. It's not a badge, that's for sure. Alright, um... What is this? Oh, here's the mask. Yeah, I'll put this to the side real quick. So, first of all, we're gonna check the bag. Here's the bag that comes with. Ooh, it smells funny. That actually kind of scares me a little bit. Ooh, it's very. <coughs> oh, God. That's a lot of dust. Oh, I hope it's not a best dose. I doubt it would be, because it's in the filter, correct? Oh, wow. Okay, this actually smells bad. Alright, guys, hold on. I need to end the clip. Alright, so this is what the filter is. Uh, this actually scares me a little bit. Here's the filter. I hear something rattling. rattling. I'm assuming that's the charcoal. Uh, this actually scares me. I'm gonna go pat this out outside. Hold up, guys. And I'm gonna give this a rinse. Alright, so, let me move this out of the way. So, here's the mask. I, I, um... So, here's the mask. I mean... So, here's the... Uh, the satchel. That's what I'd call it. Or bag. Call it whatever. Um... This is what it looks like on the inside. Nothing much, obviously. Has side pockets that you um button up. I'll show you what it looks like on. I extended the strap as long as possible. I don't know how to do this completely. I don't know what to say. It's a bag. What do you want me to? Get? What do you guys want me to say? But um, yeah, this is pretty much what the bag looks like. I'll show you like a, give you guys a bigger view later. So here's the filter. This is what it looks like. I will not unscrew this or unplug this at all because I'm not risking a single bit. I'm going to rinse it before I do anything else. Till then, I'll leave it right here. Uh, here's the gas mask. This is... Oh, yeah, that's a lot of dust. Yo, I'm going to unbox that one outside. Okay. Uh, here, move this uh, croissant, my Mexican worker. 
Put it like on the sink. Alright, so. Oh, what did this say? Huh. Cosmetic thing. Would this look like? Oh, wow. This is extremely dark. Ooh, that. Oh, my God. Looks like I've been sniffing cocaine, my guy. Damn. Hold up. Oh, let's go pat this out. Oh, sorry. Jesus. Oh, it does come me out. Oh, God. That's a lot of dust, dude. That's nasty. Oh, what is this? Oh, here's the exhale and in inhale. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna. I'm not putting. Ugh. Mm, that smells. <coughs> I'm gonna rinse this out. Come on, guys. I went. My nose hurts. No, I didn't know. But there's a lot of dust in it, and the amount of pain I'm in is un. It's like unbearable. So we. So I'm gonna like rinse this bucket. Rinse up. Rinse this um thing out. So I'm gonna get a bucket. First of all. Oh, dude. What? It smells like a balloon. Well, don't smell it to begin with, dumbass. Ah, god damn it. Stop breathing it! So, we're gonna clean, we're gonna rinse this thing out and clean it out. Wait, what is this? I'm gonna overdo it with the dish soap because I'm not taking any type of risk. So, I'm cleaning it. This, I learned this from, what's his name? Weapons and stuff, something. He has a bunch of numbers in his video, in his name, but I can't remember it. Here, I'm gonna stick my hand real quick and stir it around, so the soap can like you know get mixed up with the water. I guess you can say. So I learned this from weapons and stuff. Uh, you should subscribe to him. He teaches you a lot about gas masks. It's really cool. And I'll put. I also he also taught taught you how to make it, how to clean your gas mask in the. In his video so what you want to do is uh i'm gonna link that video too if you guys want because he goes in very in and go, he goes in detail for it pretty much he goes in detail so he said just So we got a gallon of water, and we're just gonna sink it. Oh God, I don't want wet socks. And um, we're just gonna stick it in the stick it right there, and it should be fully submerged for like about ten minutes. Leave it submerged for ten minutes, about. So it's been about fifteen minutes or less or more. So it should be done, as I would assume. There's some bubbles inside, but we can give it a rinse after. Uh, I was told by the by um the uh weapons and stuff that you do not leave the gas mask in the sun to dry, cause then the rubber would, rubber would like um crack. Oh, oh wow, bubble! Oh, there goes that. He said, do not. Um, leave it in the sun, cause um, the rubber will dry up and crack. And um, if you're if you're weapons and stuff, and you're watching this, thanks for the suggestions, man. I really appreciate them. They're, your videos help a lot. And now we're gonna clean the mask and the canister. Dude, you're like, oh god, you just like, oh, not my hand. Oh, stop it. No, no, stop. You don't waste all the soap. Oh, you jizzed on me, dude. Alright, so why? So I need you to rinse this off with with normal water in the sink. Get away! Well, actually, squeeze out the water before you actually walk in. You know, like twist the thing. I'm not gonna open it. I'm not gonna open it up. I'm just gonna do a quick rinse with normal water. I'm not gonna fully submerge it or leave it in for just like a quick, a few second rinse. You know, cause yeah, reasons.
there, that's it. I don't wanna, I don't want it seeping in. Yeah, go on this side. Don't put it where the, don't put it where the bowls are. Alright, squeeze in stuff, you know, like squeeze all the water out. Yeah. Oh, this also has metal buckles, so we, we have to rinse that, we have to like dry that one up quick, cause you know it's rusty. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Let's go outside, just. Go. Oh. Oh, what the heck was that? Some type of rubber? Oh. Oh god, a lot of dust is spilled. Oh, and this, there's all this spiky dust. That that looks like a best dust. Yeah, I'm not. No way. Pretty much, this is the um inhale valve. Uh, there's a rubber that blocks it, and every time you inhale, it forces the rubber in, and the, the oxygen will come in, and when you exhale, the CO2 will come out of here. This is called the outtake and the intake, or at least that's what the guy called it. And yeah. That's for you guys. So this is how you do it, or at least the guy said. So you put chin first. Chin first into the mask, so into the chin. Like this, guys. Alright? I really don't want to do this. You guys have no idea how much I don't want to do this. Alright. You ready? Alright. Oh god, I can't do it. I have too much hair. You try. So, uh, uh, <coughs> it's not, it's actually pretty good, like, I can see pretty damn clearly. It's actually, this is really cool. It smells like rubber, obviously, but, I mean, what did you expect, you know? I mean, there's like, it's not a tight seal, it's not a tight seal at all. It's like, right here is, um, exposed, but it's because I got a large, I'm gonna have to put descriptions on. Alright, so pretty much the package pretty much comes with the GP5 Russian gas mask. It comes with the asbestos filled canister of death. Uh, and it comes with this light, neat little satchel. It has side pockets. So that's really neat. I think it smells very uh, vintage, you can say. I don't know. And it comes with this Ukrainian gift. And it comes with this cool Ukrainian gift. You pretty much stick it to your fridge. I think it's cool. I honestly think it's cool. I don't know what it says though. That's the thing. Well, yeah, I think that's all I really need to explain, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So we're gonna shove this asbestos canister of death into this baggie. And I don't ever and I mean, I don't ever plan on reopening this again. So, yeah, I'm just gonna put this away in like storage or something. In like the back of my room, I guess. Never plan on reopening this again, and I recommend the same thing with you guys. So, yeah, I think that's all I need to explain, really. There's nothing else to say. So, uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and peace. Also, I, f I forgot to mention, I found this in the box. This is like extra lenses, I think, or something. I can't remember exactly. But, they're in the box. They don't pa they don't wrap it up and package it. It's just laying around in the box. I almost threw this away. Do not do the same. Do not ac accidentally throw it away like I almost did. Alright, all right. yeah, I think that's it, really. What does this say? Hmm. Can I focus on that? I guess that's what it is.